Hi everyone, in this video, I'll explain tips and tricks using VLOOKUP formula. Here we have a table which has 6 columns and we want 2 types of output. So let's go ahead and write VLOOKUP formula. To write VLOOKUP formula, we'll select a cell, we'll write equal to, we'll write VL, press tab. Now here we have 4 arguments. So the first argument is lookup value. We'll select the cell which we want to look up, which is here employee ID. So now we'll select the employee ID. We want that this employee ID lookup should be consistent across all cells in this output required table. So we will lock the formula or we will lock the cell employee ID. Here we want to lock only column H. So we'll press F4 three times F4, F4, F4. Now we see that only H is locked, which means that when we drag the formula towards right, H will be fixed. While when we drag the formula towards bottom, 5 will not be fixed. So in the next row, row 6 will be clicked and in the next row, row 7 will be clicked. To move ahead, we'll press comma. We are now in the second argument. So to select the table array, we want to see where is the employee ID. So the employee ID here is in column A and we want to look up name. So we'll select the entire table which needs to be in the output. So here the output needs to be till salary. So we'll select from A to D. Here we again want to lock the table which is starting from A to D. So we'll press F4 only once. We have finished the second argument. To move to the third argument, we'll press comma. We see that we need the output name column here and the name column is in the column second. Employee ID was the first column. Name is in the second column. So we'll write number two and now we'll press comma and we'll press zero and we'll close the bracket. We'll press enter. We see that we have got the name of the employee ID which was 109. To get the department for the same employee ID, we'll drag the formula towards the right. However, we see that we have got the same output because here we selected the output number two which is the name column. But now here we want the output three. So we will delete number two and we'll make it three. We see that we have got the department IT for the employee ID 109. To get the salary for the same employee, we'll drag the formula towards right. But again, we see that we have got the wrong salary because here we have got the department IT. To get the salary, we need to again change the number three and make it four. We see that manually we have to enter number two here and then in the next column we have to enter number three and here we have to enter number four. So we can implement some trick in Excel. So what we can do here at the top of the output table, we can write number two and in the next we can write number three and in the next we can write number four. So now here in the third argument where we were entering numbers manually two, three and four, we can change this and reference to the cell where the number two is written. We'll fix the row here. So we'll press F4 two times. We see here that number two here is fixed which is the row number and the column I is not fixed. So when we drag the formula towards bottom, two will not change. However, when we drag the formula towards the right, I will become J. So now we'll press enter and see here we got the same output. So now if we drag the formula towards the right, we see that we have got the same output because here the column reference here has become J2 which was the output three required from this table. And similarly for the column number four, we have got the K2 which is the phone number here. So now if we drag the formula towards the bottom, we see that we have got the right output for all the employee ID here. I'll explain you one more method to use the column index number here. So in the new trick, I will remove the number 2, 3 and 4 and I will enter a formula which will automatically give this output. So what I will do here is I will remove the column index number and I will write a formula here called column and we'll press tab here. So what does the column formula does here is it gives the value of the column name. For example here column A is the first column, column B is the second column, column C is the third column and so on. To get the value 2 we'll write column B and then we'll select a cell number for example column B1. We'll close the bracket and we'll press enter. We see that we have got the value which we had earlier. So now if we drag the formula towards the right, we'll get the same department. And now if you drag the value towards salary, we'll get the same output. And then if you drag this towards the bottom, we'll get the desired output. If you want to check if the Excel have given the right value, what you can do is select the cell for which you want to see what is the right value. Press F9. You see here we have got the number three, which is the third column in this selected table. To undo this activity, press Ctrl Z and press enter. You see here that you can avoid manually writing 2, 3, 4 for the column index number and you can use column function here which is very fast and which can save some time for you. 
let's go to another requirement here we want to look up name in this table whereas the name is a part of the entire name for example here we want to look up henry however here the name here contains henry h which is not matching with this name to do a vlookup you'll write is equal to press vl press tab now we'll select the cell for which you're looking a value so we'll select henry press f4 three times as you see that you have some suffix after henry so what you have to do is press and percent then start the double quotes press star which is shift and eight close the double quotes and then proceed with the same vlookup formula so we'll press comma we need to select the table array here so here as you see that the name is present in the second column so the table array should start with column b and it should end till last we'll again lock the cell by pressing f4 press comma so here we need the department column which is the column number two after the name column so we need here number two for that we'll again write the column function so we'll write c o l u m n press tab now here we need the two as an output so the two output will be given by column b so we'll write column b one close the bracket press comma and then press zero and close the bracket we'll press enter we see that we have got the department of the name henry which is here Henry H. Now if you drag the formula towards the right and we drag the formula towards the bottom we see that we have got a desired output. Here I have explained you some interesting tips and tricks in Excel.